One of the options that women have after having a mastectomy is breast reconstruction. Breast reconstruction has really evolved over the last 10 or 15 years. We are now able to reconstruct a breast that is almost as good as the natural breast, and we can do this with implants, we can do this with your own tissues, and we can do this with the tissue rearrangement techniques. Now, it's important to remember that it won't be exactly like the old breast. There will be some subtle differences. And those differences may be that the contour is slightly different, the volume is slightly different, you may not have the same sensation that you had prior to a mastectomy. But the good thing is that the new shape, the new contour, is still very appealing, it's still very attractive, and I think that it really does mimic what a breast should look like. A breast reconstruction can really be performed in a couple of different settings. It can be performed immediately at the time of the mastectomy, or it can be performed on a delayed basis. That is, after the mastectomy has been performed and after all of your treatments have been completed, you can come back and get a reconstruction after it's all done. Now the decision as to whether to do this immediate or delayed is going to be based on several factors. Some of them are related to the breast cancer itself, um, and others will be whether or not adjuvant treatments are necessary. There have been a number of studies that have been published looking at outcomes related to breast reconstruction and quality of life outcomes, and in almost every one of these studies, there is significant improvement in how patients feel about themselves, how they're able to get back into society and mix with their friends and family, there clearly is psychological benefit to doing immediate reconstruction. Now, if you choose to do delayed reconstruction, that doesn't mean that you have to live with a deformity for very long. It may be that you just need to get your treatments done, come back and do a delayed reconstruction, and the results can be almost as good as if it was done at the same time as the mastectomy. So some of the questions I like to have the patients ask me are things related to what do you think is best for me based on what you're seeing? Do you think I'm a better candidate for an implant? Do you think I'm a better candidate for a flap? Or do you think I'm a better candidate for some sort of tissue rearrangement? This is going to be a process. It's not going to happen overnight. We are going to probably have one or two or three potential operations in order to get to that endpoint. Patients will often ask me, is there something else that I should read? Is there something that you would refer me to so I can gather more information or just kind of solidify what we've talked about? And typically what I do is I'll refer them to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons website. And the reason I do that is because there's a, a wealth of information on that site. So it will describe one, you know, who your surgeon is, what his credentials are, what his training is. It will allow you to understand more about the operations because every one of these procedures is highlighted on that website and it'll allow you to see before and after pictures. So it doesn't matter if you're having implant reconstruction or flap reconstruction, there's plenty to see and plenty to learn from on the ASPS website. It's really a valuable resource and it's something that I recommend to all of my plastic surgery patients.